What's up guys, Bellamy Prime here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Arc Pass feature that will be introduced in Arcage Unchained. Basically this feature is Gamigo's take on a Battle Pass, which I'm sure many of you would be familiar with in other games. If you played any kind of Battle Royale recently, this will be nothing new for you, but essentially it's a bunch of rewards locked behind tiers that you have to unlock over time. You progress through the tiers by completing daily quests or missions that give experience towards your battle pass and as you unlock new tiers you'll get better and better rewards. These features normally include a free set of rewards that are available to all players and a premium set of rewards that can be unlocked if you purchase a premium version of the pass. So basically as you progress you'll unlock the free rewards and the premium ones if you have the premium pass as well. You'll generally be giving a, given a period of about three months to work on your pass, which is usually more than enough time for all players to reach the max level and claim all the rewards. But since this is Arc Age, my assumption is that each Arc Pass will be completed over the span of a single month, at which point a new Arc Pass for the next month will become available. But we have no idea exactly how this is going to function, whether it's going to be over a month, it could be over two, it could be over three months, it could be longer, we're not sure. The idea of a one month long battle pass or arc pass that you have to pay $10 for every month kind of just sounds like a subscription and I think they'll cop a lot of flack for that if that is the case. So if they're not stupid, they will do this over a longer period than just a month and you know, maybe an arc pass will cover multiple passes over a certain period of time, whether it's three months or more. And, you know, spending that $10 will give you access to the next three or, you know, that season of Arc Passes or something like that. But we'll find out when we hear more about it from the devs themselves. So what do we know about this Arc Pass so far? Well, the most important thing to know, which was emphasized in the Gamigo livestream, is that every reward from the premium portion of the Arc Pass will be purely cosmetic. This means we can expect rewards such as costumes, weapon skins, housing furniture, glider skins, and maybe dance emotes and other fun things like that. But essentially, all the game-changing rewards, meaning the ones that will actually affect gameplay, will be behind be the basic rewards tab, meaning that it will be available to be unlocked by all players who will put the time in to level their arc pass. Gamigo were very careful not to show too much of what these rewards will be on stream, but from what we've seen, the basic rewards will include things such as Hiram Infusions, Labor Potions, Vocation Potions, and Honor Potions, things like that. On the premium side of the Arc Pass that was revealed in the live stream, they showed to have Guild of Stars as a premium reward, which is not cosmetic at all. But the devs stated that this Arc Pass in particular was one that could be purchased with in-game currency and was part of a much earlier build of Arc Age Unchained. Meaning that this could have been a test version of the Arc Pass and not at all close to what we could expect in the live version of the game. One interesting thing that was stated on the live stream was this. The arc pass that you currently see on the screen is on a very early build of Unchained. It's on internal servers. Um, and the pass that you see right now is actually not one of the arc passes. One of the arc passes, one of the arc passes. that is available for real money. This is a version of the arc pass that will be available in game um, for game currency. And that's why you see like the rewards are Guild of Stars. It's just basically an introduction to the pass it will be available, um, and, and that's what you see there. So listening to this brought two things to mind. The first thing is either this is going to be a practice arc pass, one that we'll get for free early on in the first maybe month, or maybe first fortnight of the of Arc Age Unchained, as a way of introducing us to the entire system so that we can get a hang of it before we have to commit to spending money on an actual premium arc pass in maybe the next period or whatever. But the reason that doesn't really sit right with me is because I don't see Gamigo giving up a chance to basically make free money in the launch of Arc Age Unchained. I don't see them not having a premium Arc Pass from day one that you can purchase. So the likelihood of that is, is very slim, at least in my opinion. The other thing that came to mind when I heard this was if there, is if there is Arc Passes available in-game for in-game credits, as well as Arc Passes that you can purchase the premium tabs for, on top of this, we must be able to have multiple Arc Passes at a time that we work on. Either we can level multiple at a time, or maybe we have to choose between one or the other, depending on the rewards that we want from each of them. 
but then that opens the gates to things like the premium version being better than the in-game version that we can acquire with gold or prestige or whatever it is they elect to have us purchase that with in-game. But at this point, I'm really unsure of how this is going to play out, whether we're going to have multiple arc passes, whether this one's just going to be a practice one that we have early on, or what this is going to be at all. So if you guys have any idea what you think it might be, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts, whether you agree with my couple ideas or not. Let me know. But before we finish up the video, we're going to investigate a little bit about what we can actually see here on this arc pass and kind of get an idea of what we might expect in Arcage Unchained. Now, if we look at this arc pass, what we see here, you can see at the top, it's called our daily schedule. So assuming that the missions will re uh, reset each day is a pretty safe assumption, obviously. But we can see we have a battle pass level there. The, the one they're showing on screen is only level 1 and hasn't made any progress into the next level, so we're not sure exactly how fast the progression on this will be. We can see that we have tiers here up to 1 through 5. There's obviously a scroll wheel there, so that can go anywhere up to 25 to 50 to even 100 or more. We're not sure about that. It does show final rewards there, which is just a vocation tonic and some Gilder Stars. I would imagine that they're just placeholders for this test version because in most cases in battle passes and things like that the final rewards you get at the max level are actually the best rewards and normally the ones you're chasing after while leveling the battle pass anyway so i wouldn't imagine those rewards are, are very accurate i would assume we're going to be getting a lot better rewards out of the the final rewards at the end of the period but the other main thing that we haven't talked about yet is the mission side of the thing here now in the live stream they mentioned that this is very much like our daily contracts and if we switch over to here in game we can see that it is very much the same as this system that we already have in the game which is our seven i believe it's seven one two three four five six seven yeah seven daily contracts um that we can complete daily for some basic rewards so we can see that like the one on screen that they show in the stream we have a locked mission here now these are one-time unlocks in the current version of this daily contract thing so if i was to click this here it would cost me 50 gilder stars to unlock this contract and then from then on until the rest of the end of time whenever i'm playing they will just appear like these blue ones here where i can just identify what they are each day when they reset i don't have to spend 50 gilder stars every day I'll have that mission just like these ones are here. So I haven't under identified these ones yet. And these two I haven't unlocked, just like the ones that you see on the arc pass that they showed on the stream. So it's pretty safe to assume that since a lot of this uh, UI is taken and used in the arc pass, that a lot of the missions that we will get will be very similar as well. We can see that we have the mission change attempts, which is the same as what they show on the arc pass. So if I was to identify this mission here, for example, so we click this one, it says protect Halcyona 20. It will reward five gold and a Gilder star. Whether or not we get rewards on the arc pass version for just the mission itself, it, we're unsure of. But this one, basically, we have to just go to the Halcyona zone, kill 20 mobs, and we'll complete it. But let's say I don't like the Halcyona one. I can change a mission, click the... Arc Master Challenge Liberate Halcyona change and it will reset it. I can do that up to three times a day and identify a new one. So if that's in the zone that we're not really comfortable with doing early on or something like that, you can reset that and try for a different mission. We have that available on the Arc Pass as well by the looks. So that's pretty cool. But as you can see, we'll open up all these missions. We can see that each different mission has a different kind of style to it. So this one requires spending labor on metalwork tasks. If we give that a reroll, we can... Uh, see if we can get a different kind so see we got carpentry tasks that's a little bit of rng of what you get each day and then we have a dungeon one which is defeat taras which is in misong summit the final boss of that and then we have protect arcadian sea which is one of the zones out in the ocean obviously it's called the arcadian sea and then we have the bottom one here which has always been just use a certain amount of labor which is always 2000 labor and you'll get some gilda stars and some vocation badges and a bit of xp and for the sake of it, we're just going to unlock this one and show you guys just, you know, cost 50 Gilda Stars to unlock it. It then turns into the unidentified one. We identify it and we get another one that requires us to craft Animar Preserved Specialty, which is just a pack, a trade pack that we have to move. So you don't even have to hand in the trade pack. You just craft it, dump it on the ground and it will complete this. But you can move it as well. But you get the idea. 
the, the missions we can assume will look a, a little bit like this. This version has already daily completion rewards, so if we complete three of these, we'll get a Guild of Star. If we complete five, we get this Prime Tenacious gift box, but obviously that won't be a part of it when the Arc Pass comes into the situation. But we can expect that this is what we're going to see with the Arc Pass. It'll be a lot of missions like this, and hopefully the completion of them will give us a nice bit of XP towards our Arc Pass tiers and get us some nice rewards. But as far as we stand right now it's all just speculation we're not 100 percent sure if the missions are going to be the same or how much xp they're going to give or what we're going to get for our final rewards in the live launch of the game now the last thing that i want to talk about which is what i'm most excited for is this here you also get Ida, a new currency called diligence coins this is a new currency that's introduced with the arc pass system and the diligence coins could be spent on a unique store that uh, unlocks a, a very wide range of things available in Arc Age. It can be everything from, you know, uh, battle pets to gliders. It can be housing support items, even labor potions. This is the important takeaway here. Diligence coins are only earned on the basic reward track. That's the one that everybody has access to. Okay, so the reason this excites me is because this is going to be a completely free-to-play way to access all of the fun trinkets and accessories that make Arcage the great game it is, especially on the side of PvP. If I switch over to game here, I'm gonna go through the marketplace and just talk about some of the things that could be included in this Diligent Coin unique shop and the things that I really hope are gonna be there because if they are, it's just gonna be amazing because you'll be able to choose from a huge list of different things and you can pick the different gliders, mounts, donkeys, boats, whatever it is you might need to enhance your your own game experience. So if we look here at some of the things that we can get from a like similar styled stores in the live version of the game, we have this golden token store, which is a pay to win, of course it is, pay to win store. If you buy a certain amount of credits, you get these golden tokens and you can get these items here. It's things like the sloth glider, which is the best glider in the game. Uh, the Marauder Glider, which is an invisible glider, and then we have some different mounts, like the, uh, the it's called the Van here, but it's like a flame tiger. And then we have like the invisible donkey, um, the Moby Drake, which is a big dog fishing boat. We have some different mounts, some Light wings, which are just like fairy butterfly, butterfly style wings that look really cool. And then we have some other things like the Mary Poppins, umbrella glider and the bloom fang pet and the rubik's cube pet some different mounts the cars and then you know there's different things here in like the gift coin store which are like labor potions honor potions for the people who don't actually need those anymore but you know there's a heap of different things like throughout the loyalty store like different gliders different wings different costumes different things that i would really love to see in this new uh unique store but hopefully all things turn out well with this arc pass and this new unique store and all the things that they're going to be introducing to the game in arc age unchained we really hope that the devs can bring us a game that they're proud of and one that we can play for a little bit longer than what we would usually end up on fresh starts for but that's pretty much it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed i'd like to send out a special thanks to my patreons adam b tyler and navro Really appreciate your support, guys. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really like to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments. If you haven't already joined my Discord, there's a link in the description. Come over there. We're really hyped over there about the new Arcade Unchained. There's a lot of discussion. And if you guys have any video suggestions and things like that, that is the place to leave them. But as always, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Cheers.